Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's follow the peach. Follow the peach. Look at her going like a pro. Keep going, baby girl. We're going to go look upstairs. Where's your brother? Up here. Uh, up there somewhere. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I got this. <laughs> I'm right behind you. Keep going. Yeah. Let's go show them your new room. Let's go show them your new room. She's coming. Yeah, she's coming. Look at her go. <laughs> Good job, Peachy. All right. I'm going to start with the stairs. As you can see, here's the banister. All nice and stained and looking pretty. Oh, it seriously scares the crap out of me. I hate heights. <laughs> but you can see our nicely carpeted stairs. We still have a little trim work to do. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, that's so loud. They're so loud. Go in. Go in. Oh, hey, look. Sisters. <laughs> Adelia along with the belly. So this is Adelia's room. Let's see if I can turn the light on if that helps. Eh, not particularly. We still need the people to come back and put in light fixtures. And we don't yet have those. But the paint is done. And we've got their beds in here. So there's the I don't know, little tote thing. We've got a million of these for the kids. And that holds, excuse me, her baby monitor the sound machine, and then in these drawers I have various things, like extra sheets in this one, extra blankets in this one, and a couple little toys for her in that one. And her bed, crib all the way down to the, uh, <laughs> you can hear her huffing and puffing. Hi, you coming in? Hi, we're looking at your bed. Nothing very exciting. That's her crib. Right up here on this little panel is what I've been calling it. But the, where the ceiling tilts, we're going to put her Super Mario mural up there. Adelia. Hey. So anyway, like I was saying, right up there on that little section of the ceiling, we're going to do her Princess Peach Super Mario Brothers mural. And I've got a bunch of other decorating stuff to do in here still. But, uh, we just haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, look, it's a peach. Oh, look, it's a peach. Hi. How are you? You smile? <laughs> yeah. There's the belly again. Okay, show your brother's room. Show us your brother's room. Oh, my goodness. Wyatt, don't scream, please. This is Wyatt's room. I'm going to turn the light on in here now. Wyatt's window. Wyatt's bed with his blankets thrown all about. Where that blue and chocolate colored blanket is, is where I slept. I didn't sleep, but I laid with him for a little while anyway so that he could uh, try and go back to sleep. He woke up at like 1 in the morning and had a little bit of trouble going back to sleep after that. But You're just so excited. So yeah, here's his car's bed with, of course, his Spongebob square pants blanket and his Vikings blanket. And he's got one of these totes, too. Uh, nothing in that one, but pillowcases in that drawer and sheets in that drawer. That is his new baby monitor. It's a two-way monitor, so him and I can talk to each other during the night. As need be, um, there were a couple times last night that I could just talk to him through that and let him know that he is okay and tell him to go back to sleep, and he did pretty well. I only had to be in here for a little while last night, and then he went back to sleep on his own. He got up when he woke up in the morning. He told me he wanted to get him, come up, and I could just talk to him through the monitor and tell him to come on down. Why get down from there? 
There's his SpongeBob nightlight that he's already moved to the wrong spot, <laughs> but it does shine up on the ceiling. And this is his addition to his paint job. He had white paint on his hand and he walked up and put his hand on the blue wall. <laughs> well, we left it. We thought it was funny and we thought maybe someday when he's, you know, Brian's age and he's 15 and we can be like, hey, look what you did to your wall when you were three. So we decided to leave it there. Now Annalise's room is so not done, but the main part of the paint is up on the wall. So, and she's got one of those panels in here too that we could put a mural up there or something. But as you can see, still a mess. Still trying to get everything cleaned up and painted and the windows cleaned properly and still need light fixtures. Oh, there it is. I still gotta keep Peach out. That's an extra carpet on the floor and I don't really know why. Really? You like Grandpa's painter tape? Awesome. And of course down there is Brian's room. <laughs> Again, you can see we still have some trim here that needs to be painted, but not much. Not a whole heck of a lot to do in Annalise's room. Just paint the trim and then uh, we can move some stuff in here for her. And, and then we'll be done. And it'll be ready and waiting for her. Yeah. Yay, a ladder. You shouldn't play with that, Peachy Poo. <sighs> yeah, crazy mom telling me not to do stuff. What a bummer. <laughs> but this will be Annalise's room. However, for now, she will be downstairs in the nursery slash toy room slash changing station. And, uh, Annalise is coming. Annalise will be here in January. January? Yes. Sometime between January 3rd and January 17th. Huh? 17th? Yes. If she comes at 37 weeks, like you and Brian and Adelia did, she'll be here the first week of January. I'm down with you. If she's stubborn and bullheaded, then she'll just sit still until the 17th when my C-section is. Either way, she'll be here before Adelia's first birthday. Are you excited? Yes. Are you excited to have a new sister? Yes. You'll have two sisters and one brother. One brother. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Alright, we better go downstairs before Peach uh, really gets into something she shouldn't get into. Thankfully, at this point, it's just been footstools. Say bye! Bye! Well, thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! Yay!